My name is Akilo Jiwa Walter, teacher of mathematics at Preston International School. I was given an assignment, peer assignment titled, How May I Contribute to My Own Professional Development and That of My Colleagues? I can contribute to my own professional development and that of my colleagues they are as follows. Number one, by attending seminars and conferences. I've been attending many conferences across the world, but the last one I attended was the Seven International Conference on ICT for Development, Education and Training in the Republic of Benin. I learned a lot from that conference because I was taught how to use ICT to teach mathematics. I've been used to projector before. When I got there, I discovered there are some smartboard that you can use, even in dissection, plotting graphs, and doing a lot of complex works. Likewise, I learned that there was a lab called Mathematical Lab. We have all those systems that in the lab will be, will be having some software, mathematical software. And I discovered that Nigeria, we are, we are lagging behind that conference, enlightening and broadening my vision towards education. Also, many, I was taught many re relevant teaching methodologies teacher competence development in context, expanding access to quality education. Many, many speakers from many sessions. And when I got back to Nigeria, I took my students to the ICT suits. I practicalized all what I was taught. And it's beautiful for me presently. My class has changed. The way I teach has changed. The way I think even has changed. Likewise, when I go back and I read everything to my colleagues, shared what they shared the experience I got from the conference. Because from the learning pyramid, learners learn, remember 95, 90% of what they teach each other. So because we normally teach across the world, I can't teach all the year groups. So by relating with them, when we are working as a team, it, the way it's helping me is also helping them. Number two is by attaining higher degrees. I had Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical in, in Mechanical. So I discovered that I need to step up my degrees. I enrolled for my master's program, which broadened my vision, which I was taught in depth all the topics we were taught during our undergraduate level. Each topic in details that will even allow me to be able to teach mathematics as a subject. Very, very well. Number three by joining a professional body. For example, for me as a teacher of mathematics, I joined National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, United States of America. Since I've joined them, I've been gaining a lot because I was allowed to join to enter the global staff room, which allowed me to share my problems with many professors of mathematics around the world, many mathematicians. Even there are many solutions to problems that have been solved that are there. Any problem I can tell in class, I throw it open to them and be. all of us solve it together. Everybody will bring their own opinion. This is how you do it. It has happened in my own class. This is how you need to go along with this problem, which is helping me to today. Like what there are many articles that do sense to my nerves, 
that we, what are we teaching? And many, many, many things like that. There are development courses that I do attend. And the last one is engaging in all these professional development courses. Like the one I'm doing now, being a teacher, I've learned a lot from this session. Also, I did one with Cambridge International Exam on mathematics where because I need to know my subject in the British Diploma in Mathematics where we have four modules one is on design I was told how will I plan and prepare my student how will I plan and prepare my lesson how will I plan and prepare my class and even how will I plan and prepare myself for the lesson? And module two tell her about evaluation. That is improving teaching and learning. Likewise, you have assessment, assessing the progress of your students. Likewise, assessing the progress of yourself as a teacher by getting feedback from the students and your your colleagues. Because sometimes I do call my colleagues, come assess me in my class. See where I went from. See all my wrongs. Correct me. And lastly, also practice. At least, I was taught about teaching and learning action. Most of these things were even in this program I'm doing. Because I believe that my colleagues needs to also step up if my work will need to be very very good it will be very very good summarily how may I contribute to my professional development I summarize them as follows one attending seminars and conferences two attaining higher degrees three joining a professional body four Engaging in this in online, I may not be online, professional development classes. And to my of my colleagues, everything I'm doing, I do relate. Like the one of attaining higher degrees, when I, you know, I was given an assignment, what are you for? Everybody gets this for you, take you, take, solve it, let's solve it together. When you solve your own, bring all the solutions and we compare all the solutions together. By then, I need to contribute to our professional development. Also, if this course is online, like this, being a teacher, all my colleagues are aware. You are everybody has access to this. So join, attempt. I believe with all what I've said so far, I've answered the question that how will be I contribute to my professional development and that of my colleagues. Thank you.